gone by, which means it's time for another bubble and Bible moment. Today I'm bursting to share with you a poppin' parable. Have you heard of a parable before? Well, a parable is an easy to understand story that helps us to learn bigger ideas. Jesus used parables when he was teaching and preaching. He wanted people really to learn important lessons about our faith in a way that they could understand and apply to their own lives. He had large crowds of people that would come from all over to listen to him preach because they loved learning from him. When Jesus told parables, he used examples of things that people were familiar with to help them better understand God and our faith. Today's parable comes from Jesus' Sermon on the Mount. In this parable, Jesus talks about two builders, one who was very wise and one who was quite foolish. Jesus wants us to think of building a strong faith just like building a house on a solid foundation. Because when we do that, our faith will help us through the storms in life, also called hard times. The parable in today's story is from Matthew's Gospel, chapter 7. Jesus started his story by telling everyone, I want to tell you about two different builders. Each one of them wants to build his own house. Now, the first builder is very wise. He found a sturdy rock foundation to build his house on, and he made sure to carefully look over the blueprints a lot so he knew just what he was doing. He dug down deep into the rock, which was a lot of hard work, but was very important to help him build a sturdy house. He used his tape measure, and just like they all say, he measured twice and only cut things out once. When the house was finished, bad weather came. The storm shook and lightning struck nearby. Heavy rain fell on the roof. The rain started flooding around the rock the house was built on. But when the storm was over, the house didn't fall because the wise person had built it on a sturdy rock. Now, there was a second builder and he was foolish. He built his house very quickly on sand without any kind of foundation. He might have used some of the right tools, but he didn't do much careful planning. When the house was finished, a storm came. The storm shook the house. The foolish builder heard thunder and saw lightning in the sky. The wind blew against the house and the rain started to flood around the house. Can you guess what happened? The storm caused the house to fall to pieces because the foolish person built his house on sand without a strong foundation. Then Jesus finished his story by saying, I want you to be like the wise builder. If you listen and follow me, you are building your life on the sturdy rock of God. But if you don't and you're like that foolish builder, your life may fall to pieces like his house on the sand. The people listening to Jesus were amazed. They had never heard stories like this from the scriptures, and this really helped them understand it. Jesus was a wonderful teacher, and he knew how to help them learn to always trust God. The word of the Lord. Now you can say this and sign it with me. Thanks be to God. Let's end today's bubble and Bible time with a pop and prayer. Fold your hands, bow your heads, and repeat after me. Dear Lord, Thank you for sending your son, Jesus, to teach us about you. Help us to trust you and build our lives on a sturdy rock. In Jesus' name, amen.